last episode, my dad, Corinne, and me all got into some work and jobs that needed to be done. And we built a tiki hut just for fun. We're in motion. I can feel the sway. There's nothing to fear, my friend. No, no. <laughs> All right, we are learning a lot here today. We've been YouTubing and looking at things and YouTubing and looking at things. But this is the first step for us to be cruising again. So um, this is our shifter cable. And there's a special tool you need to get this off. And apparently. Then apparently. And then you take the bolt off and then you can just pull the wire out. Oh, don't pull it. Oops. Oh, shit. <laughs> and then you can just pull it out, uh, it, it, theoretically. But in my opinion, I think we are going to have to take that bolt out. And I think we are either going to have to get the special tool or we're going to have to cut this and buy a new one. Now, they're about $100 if you buy a new one, which isn't that much, but you're going to have to wait a few days for it to come because it'll probably have to be ordered. And it's Saturday, so nothing can happen until Monday anyway. So, I don't know. Might work. Mm, it might, might not. not. Might even take it to Florida. Yeah, we take it to Florida. Might, might even, even work on it. Might even work on it. Might, might even, even fix it. Yeah, might even. I don't know. <laughs> might even pay for parts. Might even buy a part. I don't know. Might even take it in to get fixed. I don't know. Might even sell it. <laughs> might I'm even sell it. We're not doing that. An update on what has to be done in the boat. Okay, you see that? See, it got to get right in there. You see that? That bellows there. Mm -hmm. That little thing there. That's what we just bought. That's what's got to be replaced. That's all ripped. These three the bolts out, these out, drop all this, take this all off, pull that all out of there. And you gotta pull that whole cable all the way out, put the bellows all up on there. And so yes, today we are replacing a shifter cable bellows with the uh, without the special tool on a Merc Cruiser 83. It's got 470 Merc Cruiser engines and we are working on the port engine today. And then get yourself two 5 8 box wrenches and undo the bolt and knock them knock the pin out yep. with a brass hammer not a hard steel hammer you'll bell mouth the thread Did that. and get your nuts back on so the first step is to put the engine in forward position so that the prop doesn't spin then you remove the pin from the back with an osteotome and a mallet. Mm, sorry guys, I'm that's the only surgical term that I know because I'm a surgical equipment and tool expert, not a marine mechanic. The bolts come out and the stern drive comes off. The shift cable inside comes out easily and carefully. You don't want to kink this. Now this is where you apparently need the special tool. It's like a long socket and we tried to kind of make do without it for a while here. Now, you gotta put this in there. He goes like magic. Should we clean Oh, and that's first? how you can get the bolt out. Should we clean Yeah, should we grab a couple of Q-tips? Give it a little wipe. What? Should we wipe it a little with a few Q-tips first? Wipe what? The, inside, the, bolt. the bolt. Sturdy. Yeah, that'd be nice. You know, that'd be a good idea. <laughs> well, don't, I don't mean to be grumpy. I'm just trying to say this is a very fucking pain in the ass. I know. He's so funny. <laughs> he goes, oh. Yeah, that'd be nice. So confused. Is that you or me? There you go. Spray this in there. Oh boy. Spray that in there. Oh yeah, baby! Curtis, like this is my favorite part. <laughs> yeah, it is. Oh. All right, Dad's for hire, everyone. If you guys want to hire him, it doesn't matter what tools you have in your garage. He will make it work, okay? <laughs> he will make it work. Doesn't matter what you okay. got, he'll make it work. You don't have to buy anything new. You just use what you got in your own basement, okay? That's a good deal. Although he charges a lot, so like he's expensive, but the tools aren't. You're getting to be oh very expensive. <laughs> All right, we're walking down to Harbor Freight so we can get not the special tool, but we're gonna get a tool that's gonna fix this thing. And we're going to prove to you right now on YouTube, you can replace the shifter cable without the special tool. We're doing it right now. Might be able to make that work. Maybe. Dad's trying to make 
something that will work. It's gonna work. I think you're just too impatient. That's why you make things work like this. Cause you're too impatient to well, wait. I had a house, yeah, I'd wait a few days. And yeah. That's the right way. Yeah, I know. I'm just... Ooh, are you getting it? We are! No. Shut fuck. up! See, we don't need no friggin' did special it, tools. It didn't strip the bolt, did it? Yeah. It did? Yeah. Oh, shoot. It just strip strip this it's just oh uh, it didn't actually strip the bolt i don't think it's no it didn't strip the bolt but. well all right well now i'm bleeding dad was bleeding here yesterday now i'm bleeding here well, yeah that's, that's what it gets all right anyway we Show are working on we the did. boat again we fed the we fed the shifter cable through this way Ooh. instead of taking this bolt off we just left it completely on and we just fed it so we're gonna replace that it's hard to see with the camera, but we're gonna place that bellows now, and then we're gonna feed this back through. So yes, no special tool. We cheated and fed the wire through without touching that bolt. It worked, but just be careful. It's a two-man job minimum, and uh, you gotta be careful not to kink that wire. You don't need a lot of grease, so there you go. <laughs> Watch where you're pointing that. I don't want it all over my face. Wait, I wanna do it. <laughs> Don't take my fucking job. I might be out of grease. There you oh go. no, we're good. That's enough. That's okay. enough. <laughs> this is the funnest job. Yeah, you don't want to get it down in that because that'll clog it up. Yeah. So around that. All yeah, right. you don't I gotta go get a. I know because then the the screw won't go in there. Yeah. It won't you could even have two fingers. Be like, boop, 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 boop. We couldn't get it on with grease, so Dad decided to give it a whirl. The trick on this, though, was to get a cup of boiling water and then let the bellows sit in that cup for a bit and then put olive oil inside it. Yeah. You don't want to break it, though, so just be very yeah, careful. Um, we need to think smarter, not harder, and not break it. Yeah, I know. Yeah, just a minute. It's... <sighs> Wants to freaking go. Oh! Ooh, nice! Oh, oh yeah, yeah baby! Oh. Hey, that freaking! Woo! Oh, it worked! Woo! We did it! We got it! We got it! Oh my god! <laughs> it's a victory lap! Victory lap! <laughs> when, it, when it went, it went. I think heating it up was the idea. Yeah! Good call! Hey, woo! <laughs> Yeah, good idea. We gotta go on like that all the way back up into there and then we'll get it all put okay. into place once I get the other one up. But okay. you're gonna have to take I have to take that off. Take that off. On. You're gonna have to grease all this and get that in there and everything without okay. ruining it. Good that's luck. all gotta go back in. Good luck. Oh, I'm good at that. Alright. Okay. Corinne says she's good at that. Alright, so now we're just trying to we got the new bellows on. We're just trying to get it to go. What can I do? Um, I don't know. Oh, uh, hold on. Can you pull it back just a little? Okay, stop, 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 stop. stop. Uh, all right, pull it, just push it just a little. Okay, wait, stop. Yeah. You gotta have some fun. <laughs> Somebody asked me if, if I wanted to do one of these. If, if they could, if they could hire me to do one of these, I'd be like, nope, nope. <laughs> Wait a minute. This is how you do it. Everything's got to be laid right into here. Then you put the. 
Um, you me want me to sit? Yeah, me okay. and Corinne's going to lift it up. Okay. You're going to turn the prop. It's going to go that way. The opposite way that I have it. Okay. Balanced some wood for the stern drive and put it in while spinning the prop. Very important to spin the prop counterclockwise while sliding the stern. Tighten the bolts and put that pin back in and you're done. <sighs> All right, we got it in. We put the clamp on it. Look at that beautiful. Oh my God, it was so yeah. beautiful. I wouldn't, uh, I wouldn't want to do these for a living. Wouldn't no. Wouldn't suggest anyone keeping a boat with this type of problem. Just sell it. Just sell it. Just sell. <laughs> sell the boat. Sell it. Or pay 600 and get it fixed. Uh, yeah, yeah we saved $600 today by doing it ourselves. <laughs> um, Dad's gonna owe us like a cup of soup or something at Chadsworth probably for helping him. Yeah, you can just but pay we did it. Food. Yeah, pay me in mozzarella sticks. <laughs> but we did it. We got it. All right, we got it to work. We're probably gonna put the boat in maybe tomorrow. See, uh, make sure everything works well. But we got it fixed without the special tool, so that's very exciting. So thank you guys all for watching that video. Um, let me know if you like those little how-to videos and you know watching Dad fix and stuff because. That's always kind of, um, it's nice to learn something. So let me know in the comments below kind of what you thought. If you want us to do more of those kinds of how-to videos on what we're fixing and why and when and stuff like that. Um, but I'm going to leave you guys here. So thank you guys all for watching. I appreciate every single one of you. Much love. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a like and I will see you in the next one. Bye-bye. Next time on Danny Ray Lives, Corinne and I take you guys to the cemetery here in St. Augustine, the oldest cemetery, I believe, in America, or one of the oldest. It's only open for four hours a month, so this is a real treat. As always, thank you so much for watching. Subscribe if you're not already. Give this video a like if you enjoyed it, and I will see you in the next one. Thank you.